Theon, now going by the name Reek, has been freed from his restraints, but on the condition that he work for Ramsay as a servant. Because of his torture and emasculation by Ramsay, Theon is now mentally weakened and offers no resistance to his new lord. He accompanies Ramsay and Miranda on their hunt for Tansy, however he struggles to keep up with them due to his injuries. When Miranda brings down Tansy with an arrow to the leg Ramsay asks Reek if it was a good shot. Reek calls it a fine shot while addressing Ramsay as, Master, and Miranda as, My Lady. Reek watches in silent horror when Ramsay orders his pack of hounds to maul Tansy to pieces. Ramsay brings Reek before Ramsay's father, Roos Bolton. Roos is angered that Ramsay has damaged a valuable hostage, whom he intended to trade for the ironborn occupied moat Kalen. To demonstrate their captive's submissiveness, Ramsay orders Reek to shave him. Reek reveals to Roos that he did not murder Bran and Rickon Stark, and that they may be with their half brother Jon Snow at Castle Black. Ramsay then reveals to Reek that Rob Stark is dead, and was stabbed through the heart by Roos. Reek holds the razor at Ramsay's neck briefly but continues shaving. When Roos orders Locke to find and kill the Stark boys, the latter asks Ramsay if his pet rat has any thoughts on where they went. Without saying a word, Ramsay orders Reek to answer Locke's question by simply giving him a look. Reek sadly tells him that they may be with Jon Snow at Castle Black. Yara, along with a group of Ironborn, infiltrates the Dreadfort to rescue her brother, only to find him in one of the kennels. Believing that this may be another one of Ramsay's tricks, Reek desperately refuses to abandon his master, refusing to be Theon Greyjoy and screaming to be left alone, insisting that he is Reek. Soon Ramsay arrives with a group of Northmen. As the two sides fight each other, Reek keeps resisting to be taken and bites Yara's hand to return to his cage. Yara escapes after being rejected and Ramsay unleashing his hounds at her. As a reward for his demonstration of loyalty, Ramsay offers Reek a bath, though Reek is hesitant to remove his clothing, due to the many scars of his torture and his earlier castration. After Reek gets into the tub, Ramsay cleans his servant himself and demands a demonstration of Reek's love, his help to get a castle back. Reek's task is to masquerade as Theon Greyjoy. Outside of Moat Kalen, Ramsay goes over Reek's mission with him one last time. He is to enter Moat Kalen under the guise of Theon Greyjoy, Prince of the Iron Islands, and attempt to negotiate with the Ironborn garrison holding it in an attempt to convince them to surrender the fortress to the Boltons. Reek rides up to the fortress gate, and almost blows his cover when asked to identify himself, yet manages to regain his composure and convince the Ironborn to let him to enter. Upon riding into Moat Kalen, Reek finds it in a state of death and decay, littered with corpses and the few remaining men ravaged by disease and exhaustion. He introduces himself as Prince Theon and truthfully informs the Ironborn that he has been a prisoner of House Bolton and has been sent to Moat Kalen as their envoy. He reads the terms that House Bolton has laid out for the Ironborn, promising them safe passage home if they peacefully surrender Moat Kalen. However, Ralph Kenning, the garrison commander of the Ironborn, decries Reek's words as those of a whip dog, and that he is no true Ironborn, nearly causing Reek to become unnerved and drop his facade. However, Reek is saved when one of Kenning's own men suddenly buries an axe in his head and accepts Reek's terms of surrender. However, the Ironborn are promptly massacred and flayed by Ramsay and his men after they surrender. Ramsay reveals to Theon that he never intended to let the Ironborn go, and congratulates him by patting him. In the aftermath, Ramsay meets with his father and presents him with the Greyjoy banner that was flying over the fortress. In recognition, Roos presents Ramsay with a decree of legitimization, making him officially a member of House Bolton. Delighted at the knowledge he will succeed his father as Warden of the North, Ramsay and Reek accompany Roos's army as it approaches the ruins of Winterfell, with Ramsay gleefully informing Reek that he's ready for a hot bath. 